Hello everyone. Today we shall look into parent and child functions. Here we have five important functions of parent and child functions. First one is path function. Path function returns a delimited text string with the identifiers of all the parents of the current identifier, starting with the oldest and continuing till, till the current, uh, you know, you could say parent or you could say current member. Here in we have the path contains function where a value is returned true if item exists in the path. If, if it does not exist in the path, it will result false. If the item is an integer number, it is converted to text and then the function is evaluated. If conversion fails, then the function returns an error. We have path item function where it returns the item at the specified position from a string resulting from the evaluation of path. The positions are counted from left to right in the path item function. The positions are counted from right to left in the path item reverse function. We have path length function where it returns the number of parents to the specified item in the given path result, including self. Including the self member, it will return the length of the path. These functions are not supported for use in direct query mode when it is used in cal calculated columns or row level security rules. I'll uh, quickly go to table where in data view here we have employees table where there are uh, few employees of the organization their names and their designation with the manager ID with to whom that they report to okay since the our employee ID 101 his designation is CEO hence he does not has you know any manager above him okay L now let us see uh, functions one after the other. Let us start with path function. I am creating a new column. Here I will write my path equal to I will write path id column name it is our employee id and the parent column name it is the manager id of the employee who, to whom they report to. I will close the parenthesis hit enter. Here you know the hierarchy is separated through pipe symbol so that you could understand uh, like how they are uh, separated and what is the hierarchy. You could see that deputy CEO here designation they, these two people they report to CEO hence there are hence there are only two people in this path. Similarly according to the designations and the you know allotment of the senior heads uh, the path is defined. Let us see how to check whether a particular employee exists in the path or not. Here I'll write path contains equal to I'll write path contains I'll open the parenthesis I'll write my path comma suppose that I want to find the item 110 I'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. Okay now here you could see that it results me in a boolean condition which is true or false. I will filter out the true condition and show you the difference. Here all these employees from top to bottom you know they, they uh, report to the manager who is Joseph Bell and the employee ID is 110 with, whom, with the number whom I have searched. This is the use of path contains function where we could identify the path of that particular employee and it could help us to identify the hierarchy. Here we shall move, move on to the other function which is path item I'll write path item equal to we have the path item function where we provide the path we have the my path column I'll provide the position suppose that I want to find who is in the third hierarchical position I'll type 3 in the type it is my text data type which I want I'll close the parenthesis, hit enter. Here in the path item, it will check from left to right in my path, whatever that belongs to the third hierarchy. In the first three rows, I do not have third level of hierarchy person. So we, it results in blank. From fourth row, it has the third level. So in third level, it shows the uh, you know person which, are, which, is, which belongs to the path. The same context, suppose that I want in a reverse direction, I'll write path item reverse 
equal to I have this function part path item reverse. I'll provide the first parameter which is my path. I'll provide the position. Similarly, I'll provide third position, or you could choose any other position, second or fourth or anything. Here I'll choose the type as text. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Now you could notice the difference. I'm trying to choose the third from the from right to left. Path item reverse function helps us to check from right to left. When I check from right to left and the third, here in path item reverse function, it is checking from right to left and helps us with the third item which is present in the path. I'll create a new column. Let us see the last function in parent and child functions, which is path length. I'll type path length equal to we have this path length function and we need to provide only the path and close the parenthesis hit enter here including the self it will result us in the total total uh, you know number number of members present okay here since we have only CEO it is one one member here for deputy CEO including deputy CEO and CEO we have two members this is how path length function works. This is all for now. Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video.